So the blue and the red one are the two waves, right? Two beat, two sound waves, for example. So here, if you see the blue and the red one are perfectly matching, which means when they add, you know, they will do constructive addition. Okay, so they will add up. So that means you see the resultant amplitude is here. It is two means here it is four. I don't following what I'm saying. Two plus two it will become four. Here it's slightly off, so that means it will slightly you know add up and slightly cancel. But look at this one, this place. The blue is going upwards and the red one is going downwards. You are unable to see that? Yes, sir. Which means they will cancel each other. When they cancel each other, it's almost zero here. So here it is constructively adding. Here it is destructively adding or destructively canceling each other. Again, you see here the blue and red are perfectly matching, which means they are constructively adding here. Again, here the blue and red are destructively adding, so both will cancel each other. So what happens is you see a pattern where the waves, you know, sometimes it is rising up and sometimes it is falling down. Okay, and when you hear the two waves together, this is what the blue one is what you are hearing because now you cannot hear the red one and the blue one separately. What you can hear is only the total. So this is what we mean by rise and fall. So if you want to take a screenshot, okay. So this might be helpful for your understanding. So the blue one and the red one are adding up in some places and canceling out in some other places. So this rise and fall ah. sound, this rise and fall sound is what we mean by beats. Okay, so let us. So, in always, you know, in physics, I would say understanding the concepts is the difficult part. Once you understand that, the mathematics is the easiest part. Okay, the very reason why we have mathematics is it's easy for us to you know, write things. Okay, so it's something like a language. So, mathematics is a language. See. So as, as I told you, there are two waves, only then there will be some additional subtraction. So A is sine omega t. Then the second wave is A is sine omega t. But then I told you that it has to be slightly different frequencies. Only then the additional subtraction will Okay. So slightly different frequencies. If you try 600 hertz and 600 hertz in both the things, you will not see this rise and fall. Okay. So the Y total, so this you can take it as wave one, this is wave two. So this will be sine C plus sine D, which we studied as the formula as two, two times sine C. C plus D by two and into cos C minus D by two. Okay, very good. That means this will become two times A sine. This I'm going to write as C, this I'm going to write as D. The formula you'll be using is C plus D by 2 cos C minus D by 2. C 
C plus D means it will become omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2 into T. Cos, it will be omega 1 minus omega 2 by 2 into T. Okay, so if you are wondering, sir, what is this? Well, that is nothing but what I was trying to show you here. Okay, so this blue line formula is given by sine and cos. So suppose if I plot, if I plot this expression here, of course, in the Excel sheet, I did not do that. I basically calculated y1. You see, this is wave one. This is wave one. I given the amplitude and frequency and then time, and then the cos wave cos omega 1, omega 1 into t. And this is cos omega 2 into t. And then simply I would add wave 1 plus wave 2. Okay. But if you want, what I can do is I can plot, you know, I can try plotting this expression. That expression should match with this properly. Okay. Maybe I can try that as a additional thing to try. Okay. So when you plot that, that will add up with this one. Okay. So in the case of Excel sheet for every location, I can calculate the value of y1 and y2, and then I can add them. But in mathematics, we like to have a one single expression like this. Okay. That means if I have this, it will match with that. At a given location, So kx, you know, so frequency of the beats, there is a small derivation for this. So frequency of the beats is given as frequency one minus frequency two. Okay. For example, in the online tone generator.com, I gave it as 540 hertz. And then 541 hertz. So if you are trying this, you shall have got one hertz. So the beats here. Would be one hertz. Suppose if you had 540 hertz and 542 hertz. Two hertz. Okay, and that's what we mean by frequency of the beats. Okay, so take it down. So frequency of the beats is given as mu one minus mu two. So I think I'm sure enough. If you have tried this, you have seen that. In this case, for every one second, that we are rising forward. Here, in this case, it would have been a little bit faster. So every one second, you would have seen two rises and two falls. Beyond three or four, I think it becomes a little bit difficult because it's going so quick. So we'll not be able to see the sound or feel the sound properly. Any questions? I think this is what we are doing, you know, like the last class. Okay, one last thing is remaining, so let's quickly do that. Again, this would have been very, very interesting if you had been here in the center, because what we would do is you would take a PVC pipe of this length and what we will do is we will take a tuning fork 
and then we'll be hitting it with the cork and then this will start vibrating as it starts vibrating what will happen is this will form some waves inside this which of course you will not be able to see it but theoretically speaking sir this experiment is there in our practical so apparently we keep a long rod type use a pulley weights and a wire uh, put a piece of paper on the uh, like just fold it and use a tuning fork hit it and then keep it on the thing so you have to increase its distance we have paper bridges increase that and then the thing will fall so okay yeah. are you you are talking about the string right yes okay so here this is not string this is like a pipe like you know organ pipes like you know simple pvc pipe okay so the string thing will come come to it later okay is it okay keep on yes so but what you are saying you know yeah i think in your case you are talking about something like this you know there will be a string like this and there is a pulley over here and then you will be some base yes yes, yes 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 Yeah, and then you will be putting some small paper here, and then you will see you now when it's going to fall down, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so we'll keep vibrating it. So when it is, you know, when you keep the tuning fork, you hit the tuning fork on, you know, with the cork, and then you put it close to the string, right? Touching the string. Yeah. Okay. So some of the variables will be changing is as you change the weight. will be getting different tensions and then will be hitting with different frequencies okay okay we'll come back to it later let's talk about this first so this is tuning fork so when you hit it what happens is the air molecules are going to be vibrated back and forth like this and that happens right it's very hard to imagine but you know when you see this experiment it's very very interesting so what you will see is as i keep on doing it to different frequencies at one particular frequency you will be able to hear a very nice sound in all other frequencies you will not be able to hear the sound so what we say is the pipe has got a natural frequency when that natural frequency matches with the frequency of the tuning fork right resonance happens so take it down pipe you can say open pipe here okay because you are going to study closed pipe right open pipe has a natural frequency or more accurately i should say open pipe air column Yeah, when you keep it vertical, it will look like a column. So it's called the air column. Has a natural frequency. When the frequency of tuning fork matches with the frequency with this natural frequency resonance happens so the video which i sent you or which i showed you in the last class right it was standing waves in a um string right yes sir but here we are talking about standing waves in a open pipe okay so you can form of you know standing waves here also so in this case what you will hear is you will hear a very nice sound okay and the frequencies are not matching you will not get this kind of proper pattern which means the energy will get cancelled out which means you will not hear the song
So very interestingly, as you keep increasing the frequency, in some other location also, you know, as you keep on increasing the frequency, at some other frequency also, again, you will be hearing the high sound. So what that means is, in the string, I told you that the first fundamental frequency, you know, the video which we are seeing, it looked like the first loop was something like this, okay, lower frequency. As he increased the frequency, anybody remember what happened? It became two loops. Remember that? As he increased the frequency further, it became three loops. Or three or four, something like that. So similarly, what happens is, Usually, you would think that there is only one, you know, uh, resonance condition. But here in this particular situation, what will happen is there will be more than one resonance condition. Okay, so what it means is when you go to a higher frequency, it will be a multiple of this frequency. So, so let me redraw this. So what this means is this is the anti node. Since this is open open pipe, both the ends are open. And this is a nodal point. So here the molecules are not vibrating. Here the molecules are vibrating the maximum. So that's the meaning of this. So the length of the pipe is taken as L. So If I want to find the frequency, frequency mu one. If your book uses F, you can use F. So mu one. We have studied that velocity is equal to mu lambda. So mu is equal to V by lambda. Here, what we are going to say here is listen carefully. Bit confusing, so understand this properly. Again, I have a lot of experiments to show, but because of this online thing, I cannot show anything. So, <clears throat> this is one full wave. And the wave is coming back, the standing wave will look something like this. So, it means you see. One loop will be lambda by two. So one full wave is lambda, whereas one loop will be only lambda by two. So here I have one half of the loop. Here I have another half of the loop. That means this is one loop. So since one loop is corresponding to lambda by two, I'm going to write the length of the pipe is equal to lambda by two. So this is, this is the first condition I'm going to call this as lambda one. So lambda one can be written as 2L. Any questions here? Take it down properly, all these things. Let's go to the second condition. Second condition is there will be one loop formed here, so something like this. So this is one wave, the reflected wave it is looking as something. So how many loops you have? This is one loop and this is half and this half, which means I have two loops. You see, now I'm changed, I'm changing the frequency, which means I'm using a different tuning fork. Every tuning fork will be vibrating at a different frequency. So you have like, you know, at least like you know, 10 different tuning forks in the lab here. So the length of the pipe is not changed. So you have lambda by two. So this is 
lambda by 2 and this is another lambda by 2 so lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 it will become lambda so nu 2 is equal to velocity divided by frequency or uh, wavelength moment anybody not following please ask nu is equal to v by lambda here it is lambda 1 this is lambda by 2 sorry lambda 2 why it is lambda 2 because this is lambda by 2 and this is quarter this is quarter so quarter quarter becomes half half plus half will become one so that's why you have lambda by 2 anybody not following please raise your doubts this is lambda by 2 Lambda 1, lambda 2 is just different, you know, different lambda values. In place of lambda by lambda 2, I can write as L. So look at this term and look at this term. So what I can do is I can multiply and divide by 2. So that the value does not change. So V by 2L is nothing but frequency 1. So new 1. Which means new 2 I can write as 2 times new 1. So what this means is it's this frequency is a multiple of 2 times this frequency. There also you will see a resonance condition. Okay. Similarly, what will happen is the next, next higher frequency where you will hear a very nice sound. As I told you, when you do this experiment, it will make a lot of sense. Unfortunately, I have to do it like this for today. So what's the difference between the previous two things? Here there was no one loop in between. Here there is one loop. Here I have two loops. And then on either side, I have this half loops. Of course, the drawing is not drawn to the scale. Okay. Length of the pipe has not changed. This is lambda 3, lambda 3 by 2. I told you one loop is not lambda, it is lambda by 2. So that's why I've been saying. So this is lambda by 2, this is lambda by 2. This and this combined, it will become lambda by 2. So that means I have three times lambda by 2. Then we are calling this as lambda 3 because of different frequency. So do the same thing. Nu 3 is equal to velocity by Lambda 3 is nothing but 2L by 3. I can take the 3 to the top. So V by 2L is nothing but the first frequency, new one, V by 2L. Okay, so this we call as a fundamental frequency. So this is a fundamental frequency where you see the resonance. These are all the multiples of the fundamental frequency. So two times new one, three times new one. Okay, so take it down. So this is a fundamental frequency. Any questions 
definitely not a easy thing okay unless you ask questions unless you ask your doubts it's very hard for me to know understand where your where your understanding level is right now so it's called odd and even harmonics okay why because you have one into new one here you have three into new one here you are two into new one similarly i can go to the next one which will be four into new one five into new one which means it will be odd and even any questions so now let's go to the strings transpose base in a string remember these pipes are longitudinal base in the air it cannot do transverse ways so it has to do longitudinal so in the case of a string right this i showed you in the video so if you had a string like this the first frequency will be like this so length of the string is equal to l i told you this is one loop one loop means lambda or lambda by 2 anybody lambda by 2 lambda by 2 very good that means i am going to take this as lambda 1 by 2 as the first input you can write this as l is equal to lambda 1 here we are talking about open pipe here now we are talking about transverse waves in a string so do the same thing new one is equal to velocity divided by lambda so v by lambda 1 can be written as 2 times l similarly if i go to the second thing this i'm sure you must have seen it in the video so somewhere here you will see something like this because all these things are resonance conditions right so only certain frequencies will add up that means the length of the string remains the same but now it is vibrating in a different frequency so so this must be lambda lambda 2 by 2 up to this so one loop is lambda 2 by 2 so if you are wondering sir here you wrote lambda 1 here you are writing lambda 2 why well as frequency changes the wavelength changes you see here the wavelength was very large here the wavelength is getting smaller so as the frequency increases the wavelength keeps decreasing that's why you have to put it by a different name so that means this is lambda by 2 this is lambda by 2 which means the total will be l is equal to lambda which means mu2 is equal to v by lambda2 so lambda2 is nothing but l so that means i can write as v by l but i am going to multiply by divide by 2 then multiply by 2 so that v by 2l is nothing but new 1 which means it's 2 times new 1 
So this we call it as fundamental frequency. It's also fundamental frequency. Okay. So the second frequency is two times the fundamental frequency. You see, for the open pipe and the transverse wave in the string, both the derivations will look the same. The drawings will look look different. Why? Because this end is open pipe. So in an open pipe, you will have only antinode here because the molecules will be vibrating. Okay. So later we'll talk about the closed pipe. In a closed pipe, definitely that other end, which is closed, the molecules cannot vibrate, which means it will be it will definitely be a no nodal point. You see in the strings, what did we say? This point and this point, it cannot vibrate. That's why it's called a nodal point. Yeah. And this is your antinode. Similarly, this point is nodal point. This point is nodal point, and this point is nodal point. And this is your antinode. Any questions? Can I move on? Once you understood this, after this, it's the same thing. We'll be repeating for closed wave also, very similar. If you don't follow, please ask. Ashwant, any doubts? No answers. Ashwant, talking to you. <clears throat> I think I should remove again some of you. Atish. Yes, sir. Last class I removed you and then you never bothered to come back. Is that right? Hmm? Did you know that I removed you? Sir, I, I had internet issues, sir. Did you inform me after the class? All these things are lies, okay? We'll suffer later, so you'll not be able to understand the thing. If you come later, you're not going to get any help from me. Okay, good luck with that. So, this will go something like this. And this will form something like this. So length of the remains the same length of the string. This is going to be called as lambda three by two. So one loop distance will be lambda by two, so lambda three by two. So that means like that I have three times, which means this I'm going to write as three times lambda three by two. Okay. So we'll start with the same story. Mu three is equal to V by lambda three. What is lambda 3? 2L by 3. So 3 goes to the top. So it will become 3 times V by 2L. What is V by 2L? It's nothing but the fundamental frequency mu 1. Which means if I do 3 times the fundamental frequency, I'll be getting one more resonance condition. So like that, it, you can keep on doing. So that means what we are trying to show here is the open pipe and strings. We have a 
can have something like you know new one two times new one three times new one something like this so what this means is you will be having both you'll be getting both odd and even we call it as both odd and even harmonics when you do the same analysis for the closed pipe very interestingly what you will see is you will get only odd harmonics you will not get the even harmonics so that's why here we are saying we are getting both odd and even so let me show you in the handbook so you see this is open pipe and this is a string so the diagrams are different but the method or calculation is the same when you do it for the closed pipes right so for closed pipe the drawing will look something so for example let's say there is a pipe like this where one end is closed the other one is open so what what will happen is you know again you know you cannot see this when you do the experiment but you will hear the sound so as you try different tuning folks from the open end at one particular frequency alone you will see a very nice sound so theoretically speaking it will be forming a nice standing wave like this so what do you mean by that this side is nodal point so the molecules of air cannot vibrate here because of the closed pipe so what did we say about nodal point nodal point means there is no displacement so since there is no displacement this point, this side will always be nodal point this side is open so open molecules can definitely vibrate so here the antimony the length of the pipe will be taken as l so can anyone tell me whether this is lambda or lambda by 2 or lambda by 4 this is one loop or half loop half half loop one loop is lambda by 2 so half loop should be lambda by 4 sir lambda by 4 so this is lambda 1 by 4 that's all if you understood that it's very very simple after that you know once you are able to answer that all these things are very easy so it means you will say that new one is equal to velocity divided by in all these cases the velocity is constant okay so that's why the v does not change so velocity divided by the wavelength lambda so as you can see lambda 1 is equal to 4 times here so this is what we going to call it as fundamental frequency any questions so the next one will look something like this the next fundamental frequency sorry in the next resonance frequency the pipe length has not changed but you have to keep on changing the tuning fork for higher frequencies so when you put a higher frequency what will happen is it will form a loop something like this
so you see this is lambda by 2 this is lambda by 4 so it means the total will be l is equal to 3 by 4 lambda 2 and following this is lambda 2 remember it's a suffix so lambda 2 by 2 this is half the loop which means lambda 2 by 4 so 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 will give me 3 by 4 so nu 2 is equal to velocity divided by lambda 2 lambda 2 is nothing but 4l by 4 3 goes to the top so 3 into v by 4 so what did we say here v by 4 is nothing but your fundamental frequency that means i can write this as three times you know one you see because of you know one side is closed and one side is open you will not get the second frequency you will not get the two times you one you will directly get three times you one similarly if you try Again, how do I know this? You know, only based on some theoretical understanding. Okay, so you cannot form a standing wave. You know, you have to form only like this. You cannot form anything in between like that. Very easy one, but initially it might be slightly confusing, but as you keep doing it, I'm sure it's very, very easy is the mathematics is very easy understanding it will take some more time so the first this side is always anti node okay I forgot to write anti node this side is always node so in between you will have node here and anti node so similarly this side is always anti node and this side is always node okay so what will happen is there will be one loop So instead of one loop, you have two loops here. So it will be lambda by three. It will be lambda three by two, this length, right? This loop. Similarly, this will also be lambda three by two. This will be lambda 3 by 4, do you agree? So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will become 1. 1 plus 1 by 4 will become 5 by 4. So it means the L will be L is equal to 5 by 4 lambda 3. So lambda 3 is nothing but 4L by 5. So 5 is going to go to the top. What is V by 4L? Nothing but fundamental frequency V by 4L. So it means increase of V by 4L and the rate is 5 into 3. <coughs> You say again, four is missing. Okay, sorry, new one, not new three. <clears throat> so that means the third frequency, right? Third resonant frequency can be written as five times the fundamental frequency. So it means for closed pipes, take it down. New one, 
then we studied three times mu one, five times mu one, seven times mu one. Keep on going. So that means it's only on one. Any questions? So now I think it will make sense. So in the open pipe and strings, you will be getting both odd and even harmonics. Here you will be getting only odd harmonics. That's what we mean by odd and even harmonics. Any questions, anybody? Uh, yeah. Any questions? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay, I think this is what is given in your textbook. Okay, so probably this is not there. Okay. Anybody remember seeing this? Is it that for you? No, sir. Water is not there. Yeah, I'll skip it. Water is nothing but, you know, you take an open pipe and you immerse it inside the water. So one end becomes closed pipe. So whatever you studied in the closed pipe is applicable here. Only thing there is this concept called end correction. So what it means is this waves will not be forming exactly at the end of the pipe. It will be slightly above the pipe because the tuning fork is slightly above the pipe. So that's why you have this. You can, you can try this yourself. Okay, if you come across some numerical, try this. We'll talk about it later. Okay, as you. If you have doubts, I will come back. Okay. Again, you know, as I always say, if there is some topics which are taught in your school and if it's not clear, you can always bring it over here. Okay. You can let me know in WhatsApp. You can discuss it. I'm just trying to you know cover you know whatever the important topics are and trying to cover it. If there is any other topics which is not covered here, but it is taken in your school means you can always bring it up. Okay, waves is almost over. Okay, so these things is not there in the syllabus for now. Okay, so these are all the Doppler effect. So just to give you a small introduction, Doppler effect is a situation where and the ambulance is coming towards you, right? It's very, very unpleasant because the frequency keeps on increasing, right? You would think that the loudness increases. Well, it's also true. That the loudness is increasing but in addition to the loudness as it is coming closer you will feel like the frequency is increasing so as a higher frequency sound means it's very very unpleasant okay when it is moving away from you when the ambulance is moving away from you right the sound is very very pleasant why because one thing is the loudness is decreasing which is good Another thing is, it feels like the frequency is going down. Okay. And when I say feels like, that is what we mean by what observer is observing. Okay. Again, I don't want to confuse you. I'm just, I'm just giving you a simple introduction. Okay. The Doppler effect means think about a railway engine, okay, train engine coming towards you, or an ambulance coming, coming towards you. Okay, we will start to talk about this as it is necessary. Okay, I don't see anybody asking me, sir, this topic is there, this, that topic is there. Everyone is very quiet. Anything which you have but missed? The top plus effect is deleted, sir. Yeah, in the syllabus, it's not there. Okay, so we don't have to study it for your school exams. Okay, so that brings us to the end of waves chapter. So as I've been telling you, at least numericals, you have, you know, we have to come back again. For now, I want to finish the theory first. Okay, the theory is over for oscillations and waves. Kinetic theory is one topic which is not completed. So I would like to give you a very quick introduction. So 
so that some of you said your exams are starting soon, maybe next week. So at least you should be thorough with this. Okay, just take two minutes break. If you want to drink some water or something, I want some water. So I'll be back in two minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 